trying to figure out why there's all that plastic in the water over here. It goes all the way up to the bank. I'm thinking that this creek, which is called Corn Creek, I don't think it's this full during the summer. Um, maybe people can walk across it and maybe they were trying to make a pool over there. I'm not really sure. Scotty thought maybe it was um, up here and they were trying to stop the erosion on the hill there. But, I don't know. There's sure a lot of it in there though. Alright, so we are in Fish Lake National Forest in Utah and the creek is Corn Creek and we're in the free section of the campground, right? Correct. Is what we're kind of thinking. We're it does go, have a bathroom. Yeah, we're going to go up here and read the board and see what it says. So they got kind of an area here. Well, he was actually there. Right? No, not anymore. Maybe they're all going to get the Yeah, hits. that's a nice big site, isn't it? Yeah, there might be multiple holes, but a lot of thin things. So yesterday when we came in, they had a whole bunch of chairs kind of sitting like this guy has his. And they were blocking all of the entrances of the campsites. So, we've never seen that happen before in the National Forest. The saving of the spot with chairs? Yeah, every <laughs> every site except for ours was uh, saved, I guess. We do have outhouses. Yeah, it's nice and clean in there. Got one right here and then there's another one up here. That's where we originally pulled in, and then uh, Aja found our spot for us. That would have had a lot of sun for her. Yeah. <laughs> but it would also get really hot. I'm not sure what this was because this building here it has a propane so I would assume there's a generator and a pump in there. Oh, I thought that was a bathroom. No. Oh. You see there's a wellhead over there. Oh. See a wellhead over there and that's an exhaust pipe and that might be like a big, oh that must be intake for air. But huh. I don't know. Look at this. Uh, we do have to be careful of rattlesnakes up here. We were warned about it. Look at this tree, though. <laughs> I love that bark. Really interesting, huh? We've seen a few snakes on the road, but they were like the other ones we saw. They were a little flattened. They had better days. Yeah. So, not a lot of sites in this area here. Um, back probably a quarter mile yeah. is the paid campground. And they have a few sites in there, but we had the same problem. There were chairs uh, blocking the campsites. Nobody in them, but just blocking them. Occupying the sites. Yeah. So, let's see. Corn Creek Canyon, I'm assuming. Up that way. Pack it in and pack it out. I will tell you, they have horse flies here, and they bite really hard. Uh, probably the worst horse flies I've encountered camping. <laughs> They're uh, pretty vicious. 
And actually, Aja was just telling me horse flies don't bite. They, it's an acid maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it sure feels like they yeah. bite. This water is like, yeah. kind of got in a little today and it is cold. Oh, I don't know if I can get down here. Can I see down there? Why <laughs> not? I don't know. So that leads back down to our area. And let's see, they got camping up here and it is 16 day limit. So that's a little different than all the other times. Um, usually it's a 14 day limit, seven or 14 actually. This is really pretty through here. Pretty, huh? Absolutely. Oh, look at this, the burls on this one. Wow. That's cool too. Yeah, I was noticing the burls on these trees. Yeah. I'll bet that's probably just some beautiful wood in there. Oh, yeah. Glad a, it's in a forest and nobody can come worker. and rip it apart. Yeah, a woodworker would love that. And we were told that you don't want to go, if you're like in a big RV like uh, Steve and Dana for Full Tiny House, you wouldn't want to go much further up here. Um, we haven't walked up here, so we don't know, but we've been told that by the local. Narrow, yep, rough narrow. <laughs> Right. But this is like the other places you can go camping. So I guess some are on that side of the, the river. Oh, this is a huge area back here. So you definitely could do that. You wouldn't, I don't think you can get to the, you don't have a view of the river, but, or I'm sorry, it's a creek. That's a nice sight right there. But See? it is too cold to get in and play around in. Yeah, that much. it is. Definitely. Unless you're a 10 year old kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could put a tent down here. Or if you're up there with a the rig, just walk down here, have a fire, have your chairs. Oh yeah, look at this. We've got a little area to walk down. Huh. Pretty. Really nice. Oh yeah, that's a huge tarp wrapped around. Too bad. It's a little too swift for the kids to play in. They haven't been able to get in it at all. It's just too fast of a moving creek. Yeah, this time of year at least. Yeah. And <laughs> it's really cold. Okay. Yeah, look at on these trees are amazing. Cool. Oh, look at this burl. It looks like it has like barnacles from the ocean on it. Yeah. From far. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's wicked. I don't know what kind of tree it is. It's really pretty cool. So the wildflowers that they have here are really pretty too. Queen Anne lace. Blue bonnets. I, I think those are called blue bonnets. Uh, not sure. So 
So they've got some really nice sites up in here as well. Lots of um, OHV uh, toys up here. You definitely see them in here during the day. But they don't seem to bother us oh. at all. Really pretty. Go right this side and turn around. I would think pretty close up here is where the road's going to narrow and uh, right. be where you don't want to go. So you can see what made this place a canyon. Obviously the water years and years ago really used to flow through here because of all the sand and sediment. That's that's what this land is pretty much made out of. But there's one peak there and the peaks on the other side. So millions of years ago or whatever, it probably really flowed through here. And it moved some big rocks because there's big rocks down below. So that's why it's bare up there, I think, is because it's it's just all the sediment has moved down into the uh, small creek basically now. Or whatever they have left. Hey, look at that. Firewood. Gosh darn it, Scott Allen. That's a good piece of <laughs> <laughs> he scared me really bad. Firewood. <laughs> yeah. You want to roll it down? No. I'm not I will. I'm not carrying it. If you put it here, I'll roll it. No way. Down. It's got a stump on it. You can't, it won't roll. Let's see. Well, go over there closer. And look. Oh, I'm a, okay. It's Wish me luck, roller. guys. That's why it's there. Okay, but do you think I could just hang on to it this way? No. Could you get it in and all? No. <laughs> nobody wants to ever reach into the That's woods why it's here. Because nobody wants it. Uh, I'm going to do it. Okay. How about this one? Go, I'm not going to carry it. Freaking Let's see how heavy it is. Half a mile. But I'm going to, I'm going to kick it first. I got to make sure there's nothing under it. All right. Hopefully there's no big spiders in there. Eh, that's not bad. It's got okay. a little handle. We'll see if I make it all the way down to the campsite. We walked yep. pretty far up here. Yep, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. One thing about these flies, they're kind of slow. The flies are slow. They're not. They're not uh, your household fly. They're some other fly. Yeah, I they. I think they're like animal flies. They kind of hurt. Yeah, they bite. You. Yeah, they got me on the shoulder a little bit ago. All right, we made it back to the bridge. I stuck out my wood. They do horseback riding up here. Oh, look, he's gonna let him out. Or, oh, look. Oh, beautiful. Baby. So I came over here because uh, I thought that there was a board over here, a bulletin board to tell you, uh, you know, all the information, but all we've got is the uh, no garbage service please pack it out and then just the sign over here that says for the protection of native fish please do not block dam please do not build dams in the streams but other than that nothing to tell you uh, any information these people here this gentleman in the truck there he has been saving a couple spots here He's got a big party coming in tonight. It looks like they're arriving. Well, we just walked past our camp, dropped off that wood, and we're gonna go on down here to the other end of the campground. Let's see what we find down here. Sure, it's turning out to be another beautiful day. Yeah. Well, this campsite down here, 
you'd have to have some uh, good traction and it definitely would not be for a big rig looks like they've been down here with the um, OH what do they call ATV. those ATVs doing, Brody. doing Brody's around the campfire but look at really pretty sight it's not very level though Coming up over there as well, the river or creek coming together there. This river is just really moving. Yeah. Or creek or whatever. It's a creek. Ooh. Oh, big carcass. Huh. Right here. It's not very often that you see a whole carcass uh, all in one piece. They're usually scattered around. Well, the legs are gone. <laughs> it looks like uh, something could be in that hole over there. You see it down here? Oh, right. there's the legs over there. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Good. Or it could have been a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely a deer that got chunked up. I'm yeah. Uh, it ends right there. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sad, but part of uh, nature. All right. We're going to walk back up to the campsite.